Welcome back on the channel. Today we are going to start discussion on AS practical paper, which is not only very important for getting good grade, but also help how to plan, investigate, and evaluate different problems associated with the A level chemistry syllabus. 9701. First, we discuss what are the important practical skills which we learn from this video. These skills will not only help to perform the practical but also help you to take readings, write observations, conclusions, and additionally, we will learn how to do calculation work in this video. We will learn the basic skills which will help to perform the experiments in lab and also help you to solve your practical paper while you are performing practical work or attempting your question paper. The scientific methodology should be applied in the given sequence. First of all plan the experiment. Here I can say understand the question and make arrangements accordingly. Train yourself and practice sessions of doing multiple tasks. Set up the apparatus. As instructed in the question paper, note down the readings of the burette, or thermometer, or measuring cylinder, roughly. And then, write down properly after some manipulation, which is best fit according to the situation, and note all these reading in the form of a well-planned and organized table, as non-tabulated data will not be accepted by the examiner. From your data analyze the question and solve all relevant questions which are either based on calculation or precautions or suggestions or about conclusions and very important manage your time do finish your practical work at at least 30 minutes earlier and spent rest of the time in completing your writing part of the paper now i am going to discuss how many different types of practical question could be asked in your practical exam whether it is 9701 slash 33 or 34 we can divide all practical questions which could be asked in your practical exam into six different types based on the topic studied in AS level chemistry syllabus 9701 at place 1 it is titration usually the first question of the practical exam paper is of titration it could be simple acid base titration for determination of concentration of one of the reagent or preparation of crystals or determination of molecule or formula of the given sample. Some time examiner may ask you to prepare standard solution from the given mass of solid and then diluted to some extent, usually to 250 centimeter cube. As second place, I am going to discuss the enthalpy change in this type of practical. You are required to measure the change in temperature using thermometer and find the amount of heat energy, whether absorbed or released, when reacting any reactive metal, such as magnesium with different volumes of aqueous acids or any other unknown solution of different concentrations or reaction between aqueous acids and alkalis at a fixed temperature after taking readings and presenting the data in tabulated form you may be asked to draw the graph and answer all theoretical questions which are based on your practical work or on the graph which you draw on examiner could ask you to write down the safety measures that help you to improve the practical procedure to get more reliable results Third type of the practical is measuring 
the rate of reaction with different intervals of time in this type of question you are supposed to take readings with the help of timer by reacting different concentrations of the reagents with each other and obtain data plotted on the graph paper and then answer all relevant questions about the practical procedure improvements or on the graph fourth type of the practical is thermal decomposition in this type of practical examiner gave you mass of a solid of any unknown sample and we could be asked to either find out the percentage purity of the given in sample or molecular formula of the given sample or water of crystallization in the given sample to perform this type of practical you are supposed to record the mass of given sample at the start and after the first heating and repeat the procedure to confirm that no further decrease in mass takes place present the obtained results in the form of a table and do calculations to figure out how much mass lost during heating this will help to identify the molecular formula or percentage purity of the sample analyzed fifth type of the practical is organic analysis in this type of practical you are supposed to figure out which functional group is present in the given organic sample to perform this type of practical you must have prior knowledge of tests for different organic functional groups like 2,4 DNPH is used to confirm the presence of carbonyl group and tolens reagent is used to check the presence of aldehyde this type of knowledge will help a lot while performing organic analysis sixth type of the practical is salt analysis and remember this is the most important type of the practical question which is compulsory and included in every practical exam of 9701 chemistry syllabus in this type of organic analysis you are supposed to figure out which cation or anion is present in the given solid sample or colored or colorless sample solution you are supposed to write down all of the observations you observed when different reagents like aqueous sodium hydroxide is added drop wise and in excess quantity you are also provided with the data booklet which has information about the possible observations like formation of precipitate or dissolving of precipitate or any color change or formation of bubbles of gas and all these help the candidates to identify the cations and anions present in the given if you missed any of the topic or chapter from your IGCSE, O level, at Excel, A level, chemistry, don't hesitate and contact on my WhatsApp number plus 923339979317 for one to one classes.